Darwin Plus is a UK government initiative which funds environmental projects in the overseas territories in order to promote research and public engagements. The subject of this research programme is the area of Windmill Hill Flats, which, by Gibraltar's standards, is host to an unusually diverse ecosystem, even if this hasn't been by design. Because it's been a military training ground for such a long period of time, it's not being developed uh, in a way that other areas in Gibraltar might otherwise have been, like for example Europa Flats that we're on now. Uh, so it, it, it became almost like a nature reserve by accident and it's, it's a wonderful part of Gibraltar with a real tremendous diversity of different types of habitats and, and, and ecosystems and, and wildlife there. And what we want to do is not just sort of like study it, see what there is, and establish baselines, but also see what we need to do in order to improve, maximize that diversity, potentially with the view of restoring possibly some ecosystems and species that, are, that used to be here and have been lost and we want to get them back. The main idea of the project and now is to actually accumulate information that would give us a good feel of what there is there and in what state uh, the different species are found in the area so that we can come up with a management plan for the site. We've got to remember that Windmill Hill Flats is incredibly important in the Gibraltar context in terms of the biodiversity that we have in Gibraltar. So this work will actually consolidate information that has been gathered by a lot of people in Gibraltar for many years and at the same time come up with information that will add value to what we are putting together, together with the, um, of course, the Department of Environment, who have already uh, taken steps to come up with management um, um, solutions to some of the problems that we have in Windmill Hill Flats. The team is excited for what this period of research may reveal and hope that the work done over the next 10 months may justify more in-depth research in future or perhaps provide the basis for a model of how other areas in Gibraltar might be managed going forward.